I'm Colin Fitzgerald here with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to take a look at a 2021 34H5 Georgetown GT5 Class A motorhome by Forest River. It's a three slide model. A um, couple of things about this this is on a bigger chassis, as you can see. And second, this is uh, on the new Ford V8 7.3 liter uh, engine platform. So, some new things about that to, to note. Again, 34H5 is the floor plan. All right, so going in, we're gonna start here at the front. And a couple things to note. Again, really a totally new uh, setup here. Uh, the Ford V10 was around for a long time, as long as I can remember. Uh, totally different look. Different steering wheel, different instrument cluster, different switches. Um, we've got a different uh, dog box, so to speak, whatever you want to call it here. Uh, j just a different different setup. Not in a negative way or positive way, but it is different. So, so far, we have liked it. Um, haven't had enough of a sample size, obviously, versus the, the decades I have with the V10, but uh, it has so far been a great platform. Customers have liked it. So, a little different setup there. Other than that, probably what you've seen uh, if you're looking at, at Georgetown's uh, roller shades here with a uh, motorized roller shade at the front. Uh, FR3 Georgetown using that roller shade versus a curtain because of the practical nature of this. Uh, if I need to block the sun down, say to this line, I can just pull this down to that line versus with a curtain, I have to pull the curtain and block the entire window, which is unsafe and pretty, pretty pointless. So a much better idea to have these. Second, notice no step up to the drivers and passenger seats. We do not like that. It's very inconvenient, not to mention kind of dangerous when you're getting in and out of it. And second, no carpet. We don't have any carpet, no carpet to worry about staining or wearing out. So I do like that. I uh, got a little desktop center over here at the passenger seat. This does pull, it pull slides towards you. I actually cannot, isn't that terrible? You, you, I don't do enough to remember. Uh, th that moves there and then you've got your you got your outlets and then you've got uh, several different things there so it's a nice setup there for the um for the passenger excuse me uh, you do have a bunk as well electric bunk it's very quick that comes down I'm, i think the seats are going to get in the way so i can't go all the way down nope I, I got lucky so there you go there's your bunk some storage there as well nice thing about this is maybe some of you all that are looking at this um have grandkids or kids that might go with you but you, you don't really want to have to get a bunk uh, bunk house style floor plan because they won't go all the time this gives you that flexibility to get the floor plan you want while still having a space for them if they do go so I'll turn around and look toward the back two slides here in our kitchen living room our slide to the right in our kitchen and our slide to the left uh, for our living room so looking at the kitchen first uh, as far as storage is concerned you've got a pantry here with pull out drawers Really nice setup there. I love the hidden hinges on these, solid wood. As far as the doors themselves are concerned, big gas electric refrigerator with that stainless steel front. Same thing, stainless steel on the rest of the appliances. Just a sharp look. A glass top stove cover, big oven. Um, solid surface countertops with solid surface sink cover. So a nice big uh, countertop here to work off of. Nice backslash, knife holders back there. Convection microwave oven up top window here at the sink we got a pull out sprayer on our faucet lots of storage below a little hutch here to the left good place maybe a crock pot or instant pot something like that uh, you do have your precision circuits control center i love precision circuits great company um, this is really honestly pretty easy to learn and work with compared to some of the other uh, styles we see out there we've got lights uh, we can control so our, our control panel here, our monitor panel, excuse me, our slide rooms, our awning, our generator, our water a heater and pump, the HVAC is in here. Um, it's just a neat setup. And again, it's, it's, it's pretty intuitive and not you know, crazy difficult to learn. So I do like that. Uh, back to the left is our big slide for our living room area. A nice size booth here uh, with storage below. It does make a bed if you need it. Big windows there at the booth. I uh, love that we do have day and night shades so you got the day shades for blocking out the sun the night shades for at night so a nice a setup there crank out style a jealousy windows theater seats they are electric a couple things about them they are electric reclining and then you do have accent lights built into them as well 
and they have heat and massage also and then you can see the seat belts already in them so really nice uh theater seats even they got an adjustable headrest up here so uh, really deluxe uh, nice ones there by georgetown adding in our tv directly across from those theater seats sound bar mounted to the bottom of it um, i've got a fireplace there as well and in the hallway more storage there there's our precision plex uh 12 volt fuse center again a nice thing about precision precision circuits making it easier to diagnose if you have problems on the 12 volt side a half bath here in the hallway <clears throat> excuse me a lot of countertop space and storage in here so storage below the sink uh, medicine cabinet in the corner you got a window in here so it doesn't feel like a closet you got storage in the back there really nice toilet uh, tecma that's a solid porcelain toilet uh, it is a electric flush with a macerator so the reason for that is we'll see in a second it keeps us from having to have an additional black tank which would take up a pass-through storage compartment so because they use that uh, they spend the extra money but they give you an extra storage compartment so a nice addition there by georgetown uh going the extra mile and, and making it better for the customer going back to the master bedroom get your door to close that off if you want got your third slide here our bed slide with our king bed in it windows all around nice stands on both sides outlets on both sides reading lights up under there if you want to use those at the foot of the bed a wall of cabinets and storage all sorts of different storage options hanging storage there as you can see the little hanger up there tv already back here uh washer dryer prep in this closet if you wanted to put a combo in there and then at the back is our master bath again same style door to close that off it just slides over clicks back in place you got a sink really big countertop lots of storage below and above Window at the back, again, trying to just add natural light. Got a foot flush toilet and then a big shower. It's a really nice size shower. It's actually a one piece fiberglass um, shower here with a seat in it as well and a big skylight. So that's the inside of this unit. I'm gonna walk back through and we'll take a look. Got some things on the outside of it. So on the outside of this unit, um, several big storage compartments. I'm gonna try to show you that here. The pass through ones. So you've got one there, another one there, and then the third one here. So again, three big pass through storage compartments. And you gain that third one because they put that unique uh, style toilet. So a lot of storage uh, for for class a especially for a, uh, this size uh, gasser so really really nice setup there big awning there's actually two awnings on this both have metal wraps um, slide covers on the slides tinted windows frameless windows at that again on a bigger chassis as well outside tv with outside speakers see so are two awnings as you can see uh, partial body paint so some of this is paint some of this is vinyl graphics but we do have some paint here as well on the back that fiberglass cap really good design there uh, we got a ladder on the back of course receiver hitch back up and side cameras um, nice big storage on some of these and some of these are just access to as you can see your water hookups very very neat and organized simple to get to and then if I can close them, I probably need to use both hands, but all right. And then this is the, the big storage compartment there. Of course, it does have a generator and it's 50 amp service. I'm trying to back up much, you kind of see all of this. Beautiful motor home. So 2021. 34H5 Georgetown GT5 Class A Motorhome by Forest River. It's a triple slide, Class A, big refrigerator, two airs, washer dryer prep, two slides in the living room. That's here at Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky.